Welcome to the video tutorials for the QCells Rooftop Planner. This video covers CAD Plan. The CAD Plan area is used to assess the design of the assembly system and to prepare assembly plans. In the ribbon you will find buttons for export to native CAD formats or export as a PDF. On the left side you see the toolbar with a new tool, the dimensioning tool. Clicking on the Smart Menu button opens the Layers menu, where you will find all the available drawing layers. The checkbox in front of each layer name is used to show or hide the corresponding layer. The export documents always contain all the layers. With PDF export, you should always activate all layers, since unwanted layers can be subsequently deleted in the PDF viewer. User Defined Dimensioning In addition to the existing dimensioning, you can define your own dimensioning lines according to your wishes. To do this, activate the dimensioning tool. You will see that you have four different dimensioning tools. Free dimensioning, free dimensioning in the z-plane, that is, horizontally, rectangular dimensioning, probably the most commonly used variant, and rectangular dimensioning in the z-plane. In this example, we have chosen Rectangular Dimensioning. Click on the Rectangular Dimensioning tool. Position the cursor over the starting point of the desired dimension. You can see that the tool is equipped with a catch mechanism that makes it easy to hit the desired element. Left click with the mouse to set the start point of the dimension. Move the cursor to the desired endpoint of the dimension and left click again. Move the cursor to display the dimension that you have determined. Click on the corresponding button to export to the native CAD formats, DXF and DWG. All drawing layers are contained in the CAD file and you can process the file in the corresponding programs. You will have two options when exporting to a PDF. Export to true to scale PDF files and export as a PDF with a perspective view of the CAD drawing. Follow the steps for true to scale exporting to a PDF as follows. Click on the button to open the export dialog. Select a paper format. Suitable scales for this will then be suggested to you. Start the export by clicking on the PDF button. The PDF is generated and automatically downloaded. When you open the PDF, you will see that it contains all objects as vectors ensuring loss-free magnification. You can also show or hide the existing drawing layers to give your layout the desired appearance before printing. 